What's going on, Spartans? Welcome back. We have our new troll base, and you've seen it already, but you're going to see more of it right now. And as you can see here on screen, here are some of my defenses. Um, a few. This is actually all the ones with the new base right here, starting at the number 19 or 19 trophies one. And it has lost, but I am in Masters 1, so losing is not unheard of. It's pretty common. Um, I'm at 3060 currently, but I am actually... Or, I mean, I was at 3060 when I started this video. By the end of it, I'm at 31. Let me check my number exactly right now. 3105. So, doing pretty good overall. And I'm really not attacking because I've been so busy. Let's go ahead, though, and get right into commentating. As you can see, this guy does have two dragons he dropped in. Some wizards, some uh, giants, and some golems. He had hoped his golems would go for the middle. But they do not. And this costs him heavily. These walls are so weird and random. That troops do all sorts of stuff. I have seen troops do crazy stuff to these walls. Like literally one golem will hit the wall while another will walk in a circle all the way around. It's just because it doesn't have like a normal layout. So it's actually really cool to use. And kind of fun. As you can see I just won 20 and he got zero loot guys. That's unbelievable. Zero loot. All my stuff is outside the walls. That's almost not possible. Which is amazing. Anyway, for all you guys out there who are going to try this base out, I call it the Maze Runner base, and I'm going to show you why later on. I'm going to do something funny for the next episode. You should not miss it. Trust me, I have a really funny thing I'm going to do. Um, it is the Maze Runner. You can see it does have the walls down the middle here. You can sprint down, and then the vault in the center with all the defenses, and of course, the air bombs are awesome. I love it. So this guy made a big mistake coming to fight my base, and look at this. He's going to learn a lesson here. He thought his Lava Lunion could save him. He was wrong. This actually does look like a really easy base to beat. And in some ways it is. It depends on where you attack from. I'm not going to tell you where the best place to attack from is. Just because I know a lot of you actually have found me in the past. And have whooped my butt because you watch my videos. So I'm not going to let that happen so early on. Maybe for the third video about this base. I'll go ahead and tell you guys. And then I'll completely redesign it again. But I am hoping to get the champions with this one and hold up there for a little bit. And then, look at this king. Look at the queen. She's shooting a wall. The king's running in a circle all the way around. I mean, it's just mayhem. No one knows what's going on here. This is unbelievable. <laughs> the queen literally still on the wall. So the king's just getting whooped. And he's not even able to get a meat shield because he dies before the queen gets through the wall. Now the queen has to fight on her own. And what does that mean, guys? That means that the queen is going to be facing an inferno tower. And she's not strong enough to beat the Town Hall before she dies. So, really cool. There's a few things I could do to improve this. And I will change it over time. Uh, maybe a little bit I'll alter it. But I really do like it. I just made it randomly. And, uh, yeah, it's really, really been doing decent. I'm not going to lie. I was really surprised. Didn't think it would work that well. And, oh, by the way, guys. After three videos with this, I will make a new defense. And it'll be a trolling Dark Elixir defense. So, just so you know, a sneak peek for the future. Keep watching these troll videos because they are a lot of fun to make. Honestly, I'm so bored with my base. I am maxed out now, and it is crazy having a maxed out base except for walls and heroes because there's nothing to work on. And since I have nothing to work on, the only real fun I get to have is making up creative defenses that are extremely, extremely funny. I mean, honestly, this is honestly what I find funny. I find it awesome to make up a base that looks like it's really easy. And then find out it doesn't actually go down very easily. Like, people lose, and I know they're pissed off. And that makes my day. I mean, honestly, making people mad that they can't beat my base is really, really something I enjoy doing. Since, you know, if you're ever attacking a maxed out base, like, if you're attacking a defense like this, like, with all the defense, all max level, and you lose against it, it's a good layout, you're just going to be like, damn, I lost against a maxed out base. Wow, not impressive. But if you lose against a trolling defense, one where everything is outside the walls except for the town hall, come on. How did you lose? Everything's outside. It's just insult. I love it. Anyway, back to this. As you can see, though, the way my traps have been set up are really effective. And these guys are not attacking with anything crazy. Nothing super high level yet. But these guys are in Champions. I mean, look at this. Mix in Champions League. And he attacked me here. So, he honestly must know what he's doing for the most part. Or he's sniping a lot. I don't know. Could be either one. But hopefully, I'm hoping... We get some really high level guys coming at me with some go wipes and stuff and I actually hope I win one of them. I know I didn't get to record it but someone did attack me with a go wipe 
Um, it was a low level. Actually, no, it was a maxed out Barch. That's what it was. It was a really high level guy with maxed out Barch. And what was funny was that he dropped his heroes on the walls at the bottom. And they went through and they died. And they were level 40 heroes. They couldn't make it past my defenses and my uh, clan castle. So, whoa, watch out. It's crazy in there. Look at that. So I moved my town hall back a little bit for one point for like a day. Or actually, it was like six hours more like. And I left a hole in the center to see how many people would fall for the trap and like run in there. And you can see people are just like running in and getting wrecked. Look how many troops he's dropping. He's just flooding archers in still. And he's a five barbarians. He's, gonna, oh, he's not going to drop them. <laughs> There's no point. You're not going to win, dude. Just give up. He's just sitting there like, shoot, I lost. That's embarrassing. 4%. All you got was three Teslas, man. Come on. <laughs> Hopefully you're not watching this and understand me. Well, he is an Asian name of some sort, so I'm not too worried about him finding me or watching me online and being like, wow, you insulted me. But oh well, you deserve it for losing. Um, here we go. We have a little bit. We got one more left for you. Let's go ahead and show it real quick. Let's get our minions and archers, and I'm just going to move everything back in place one second here. As you can see, um, I actually don't like the fact there was a hole in the base. It was kind of funny because a few people trolled it and like tried to get in there, and they were stupid, and they lost. But... Then again, like level 40 heroes will literally just pummel their way through that without even having to worry. So we're going to move it back and then move that little trap out the way and push the tunnel back in place. So there's no hole in the base because we do not want to make it too easy as we get higher up here. Because I know the level 40 hero guys are coming. And oh, by the way, trying to work on my walls. I've upgraded three walls in the last two days, which is not a lot. It's actually four walls in the last two days, excuse me. It's not a lot, guys, but I've also upgraded my king to level 32. So maybe I'll make a video showing him actually fully upgraded once he hits level 33 or level 32 or level 35. What do you guys want to see? Do you want to see each level as he upgrades, or do you just want to see every five levels when his ability changes? Um, I don't know which way to do it. I mean, there's only eight levels left to my king and five levels on my queen, so it's like two months worth of work, maybe two and a half if I really am lazy because, oh, man. Look at this, just getting it. <laughs> These bombs are just wrecking them. And oh my god, just laying those archers in there and just not getting anywhere. Does he even get percentages here? He has 2% and he dropped his king. His king is enraged and dies. Didn't even injure the town hall. Oh my god, the dragons just got wrecked. <laughs> this is a super bad day for this guy. Oh my god, I'd be so mad if I was him. I really love the fact that the clan shield is on the like, minions. That looks so epic up there. Uh, but 25 trophies, really solid. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the new trap base. If so, go ahead and comment, subscribe, and like. And I'll talk to you guys in the comments below. Peace.